Hey y'all, it's your girl Tiana. I can only be me and I am coming at you with another recipe y'all. Today what we're going to be making is some oxtails in the crock pot. I'm doing them on the crock pot because, in the crock pot because I don't want to be standing over stove. I don't want to heat my house up with oxtails because these take a long time, hours to cook. So we're going to just be doing it in the crock pot and you know, let them do what they do on their own all day or however long it's going to take them to cook. So, what I have is, I have my oxtails, I have them washed and cleaned, everything, and an onion. I have some celery. Got some celery. I got some butter, garlic, minced garlic, um, black pepper, and I have some oxtail seasoning, y'all. I have some oxtail seasoning. Hold on one second. Okay, so like I was saying, I have oxtail seasoning. And this seasoning, I don't know where you can find it at, but you can check online. Um, but I found this when I went to Florida. But um, in this, it has salt, garlic, basil, um, pepper, allspice, cinnamon, thyme, ginger, oregano, and margarine. Marg Y'all know what I'm talking about. M-A-R-J-O-R-A-M. So if you want to add those seasonings, then and you have them in your cabinet, add that. If not, just add your normal salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, uh, or seasoned salt. Um, add bay leaf. Add um, let me see. Add some thyme to it, and that's it. Like really not much. But normally I would brown these first on the stove and then put them in here because it helps with um giving me some color and stuff like that to the gravy that's gonna be on them but what i'm finna do is i'm just gonna take my oxtails and i'm gonna put them right down and my crock pot is early in the morning too y'all my voice sound cracky how y'all doing sugar boo welcome to all my new subscribers i hope y'all is enjoying y'all stuff over here welcome 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 back to all my faithful loyal family members So, now I'm just going to take this onion, and I'm just going to cut it up big in here. I ain't trying to be all particular about a size or nothing like that. I just want this right in here for flavor. And I started to add another one, but I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to do it. So... I'm going to cut this carrot up in here. And I was going to put some potatoes, but in here as well, and call this a whole meal. But I ain't even got no potatoes. So, I know my carrots can be cut better than I cut. I don't get no cut. Oh, and I, um, shaved this, I shaved the carrots with the, with the pillar, with the potato pillar. I took the skin off of them. This is what four carrots I got. But yeah, we're gonna do this where it have like a little gravy to it. I love me some curry oxtails though, y'all. Ooh, talking about some good. Ooh, 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 something good. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all got to try the curry style if you ain't never tried it now. Okay. So when I got that in now. So now I'm about to add my oxtail seasoning. Got something I'll put in here. I'm about to add that. I'm gonna get it all in that good. We're gonna add some minced garlic.
then I'm going to add about two stalks of celery. Maybe three. I'm just putting them in here just for the flavor. So I'll be back when I rinse them off. Alright y'all, so I got the celery rinsed off. And I'm going to break this up. Big in here. I thought I was going to be able to, I don't know why I thought I was going to be able to break it. Because I want to be able to pick this out. Don't nobody want to be crunching on no celery. Okay. So now I got that. I'm going to add a few dashes of soy sauce. This is going to help with my brown color. I'm just going to add just a little bit of that. And then I'm going to add some flour. And this is going to be for the gravy. Okay. So now, I'm just going to get all these oxtails mixed around in the seasoning. Okay, hold on. Okay, so now I'm just going to take a little water and I'm going to put it down in here. I just added just a little bit more water, y'all. I'm just trying to get my pot a little Just like that, y'all. So, I got my crock pot on high, and hopefully, they get done. Tonight. Well, they're going to be done in the hope They're going to be done for dinner tonight. So, it's enough water in there. I don't want too much water because they're going to make their own liquid. And, oh, I forgot about this butter. Hold on, y'all. We're going to add some butter. We're going to add some butter to it. And the reason why we add the butter is because the butter, it acts as a tenderizer on meat and stuff. Potatoes to that, and um, you know, just make sure 
together. Um, season it. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, just a little bit. But make sure you got it seasoned up good enough. That way they be flavorful, okay? And I wish I would have felt like it, but I don't, I don't feel like it, but I like to brown them first and then put them in here. That way it helps with the pretty color for the gravy. So hopefully that soda sauce and the cooking process, you know, give me a good gravy. I'm going to be upset. All right, y'all. So I will see y'all in some hours. All right, family. This is the oxtails. Um, let's see. I think I put it on about, I'm going to say about 11. So it's been cooking about three hours, I'm going to say, it's been cooking. And this is it right here. And then you cook them until they is fall off the bone tender, but you don't want all the bones to be falling off of them. Like, just to the point where they about to fall off that bone. That's how you want them. But y'all, these right here look so good. The gravy. And everything came together on them. And, ooh, child. Mm -mm -mm. So, look, look at the bones. Fall, look at that bone fell out of there. See, I ain't want them where they fall completely off like that. Tender enough to still stay on the bone. So, this is my oxtail, y'all. I hope y'all try it. I hope you like it. Oh, and let me tell you, I came back and I added a few more things to it. I added a little bit more, because it needed more seasoning. I added a little bit more salt. I added um, some brown gravy mix. I just sprinkled a little bit across the top of it because I forgot I had some, right? But we made our own gravy, but I still added some brown gravy mix. And I also added two beef bouillon cubes to it while it was still cooking. And that is all that I added. I'm trying to see what it said. Hold on. Okay, I added two of these beef um cubes to it so and this is it and this is what we got in the end y'all nice tender oxtails with carrots y'all they're gonna be so good on some rice oh yes honey yes and this is sunday dinner y'all so Peace, love, and many, many blessings to each and every one of you guys. Until next time, I hope y'all have a good one. This your girl, Tiana. I can only be me.